Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. On today's tutorial, I will demonstrate how to make this sleeveless maxi cowl dress. Hi, my name is Ayo and welcome to 011 Clothing Tutorials. On this channel, I upload DIYs, pattern drafting and sewing tutorials. If you haven't subscribed yet, kindly do so. And do not forget to turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. So now, let's get right into the tutorial. Thank you! I'll be working with the following items. Tape measure, pins, marker pen, water erasable fabric pencil, a pair of paper scissors, a pair of fabric scissors, rulers and cuffs, Four years of this double face duchess fabric, my basic full length dress pattern. So I have here my basic full length dress pattern. I have a tutorial on how to draft this basic dress pattern. The link to the tutorial will be above and in the description box below. I will now alter the back and the front basic necklines. I will increase the back neck width by 1 inch and the back neck depth by 1 inch also. I will redraw the back neckline curve like this. For the front, I will increase the front neck width by 1 inch, the front neck depth by 4 inches. So the total neck depth for the front is 7 inches. And the front neck width is 4 inches in total. I'll connect the two points together like this using my ruler. I intend to create a V-shaped neckline at the front of the dress. So at the middle of this slanted line, I will go in by half an inch. Using my French curl, I will now curve the slanted line like this using the half an inch as a guide. I will now cut out the new front and back neckline curves. Next, I will create a pencil skirt outline at the lower part of the dress. From the hip line, I will come down by 3 inches. At the aim, at the side seams, I will measure and mark 1.5 inches. I will now connect the points together like this to create the pencil skirt silhouette at the aim of the dress. I will cut it out. On the back pattern, at the center back, I have created a vent opening. This vent is 20 inches long and it is 2.5 inches wide so this is what the altered basic dress pattern looks like next i'll go ahead and position them on the fabric this is my four yards of fabric and i've folded it into two i have also secured the two layers of fabric with my pins I will now go ahead and pin these two pattern pieces on the fabric, the front and the back pattern pieces. I have pinned the patterns to the fabric. I drew a middle line on the fabric. I now place the front and the back patterns together so that they touch each other at the end. I corrected the curve at the end and I added a seam allowance of half an inch seam allowance at the end of the dress. Let me now move the fabric around so that you can clearly see how I paint the front and the back patterns to the fabric. This is too big for my table and also for my camera to capture at once. 
Can you see the middle line that I drew vertically at the middle of the fabric? This line is very important. It will serve as a guide because both patterns must be spread out at an equal distance from the middle line. I connected the base of the back armhole to the base of the front armhole with a horizontal line and the total length of this horizontal line is 34 inches. So the back armhole is 17 inches from the middle line. Likewise, the front armhole is 17 inches from the middle line. I used half an inch seam allowance all around the patterns. As you can see, this magazine will have no side joining. I will now go ahead and cut out the dress. We are cutting out two pieces because the fabric has already been folded into two before pinning the patterns on the fabric. I have placed the fabric that I cut out on the floor so that you can clearly see what it looks like after cutting. The next thing to do is the sewing of this dress. I have cut out these bias strips of fabric that I will use to tape the necklines of the dress and also the armholes. The bias strips are 1.5 inches you should notch where the armhole ends at the base of the armhole so as to avoid confusion while sewing recall that the fabric was folded into two layers so we have two pieces of fabric here so now as you can see i have used the bias tape to tape the edges of the neckline and also the armholes Remember that we cut two dress pieces, so this is just one of the two pieces. With the right sides together, I will go ahead and pin the front and the back shoulders together. I will also pin the opening at the sides together. This is what will form the drape at the side of the dress. Once I'm done pinning, I will take it to my sewing machine and I will stitch it in place using half an inch sewing allowance. This is the second piece for the dress. As you can see, I've also taped the necklines and the, and the armholes. I will repeat the same thing that I did for the first dress piece on this second one as well. I will pin the shoulders and the opening at the side together. After which, I will take it to my sewing machine and I will do the stitching using half an inch sewing allowance. The stitching has been done, as you can see. I have also overlocked the raw edge. I played the two dress pieces side by side on the table, but I have not, I have not sewn them together. I will now pin the center front of the two dress pieces together like this. Once I'm done pinning, I will take it to my sewing machine and I will stitch it in place using half an inch sewing allowance. I will also pin the center back of the two dress pieces together like this. I will stitch it in place using half an inch sewing allowance. Do not forget that right sides must be together. So now the stitching has been done as you can see. I have aimed the lower part of the dress and I've given the dress a thorough press with my pressing iron. So that's it guys, we are done. And this is the final look of the Maxi 
cow dress with no side seam. If you find this video helpful, do not forget to give it a thumbs up, drop a comment down below, share this video with your friends who are interested in sewing, and do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. See you in my next tutorial. Bye and thank you so much for watching.